Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Carolina Panthers Talk, brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram, and it's good to be back here, coming at you from the U to the tube. So, some more Carolina Panthers signings and wavings. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, they brought back Defensive end, Kendall Donerson, and they also brought on defensive back, Ladarius Wiley. Now, starting off with uh, Kendall Donerson, uh, that was a familiar name, was actually signed to the Panthers back in May, but then he got released and then went to the Saints in July and then got released, and now he's back with the Panthers. So they brought they brought him back. Um and like I said, Kendall Donerson, um as I said in the previous video, 6'3, 249 pounds out of Southeast Missouri State. Um like I said, wasn't originally able to pull up stats, but yeah, they apparently are bringing him back and overall adds depth at edge rusher so looks like they wanted to add more to that and then Ladarius Ladarius Wiley Ladarius Wiley uh 25 years old 6'1 210 pounds out, out of Vanderbilt so he was undrafted and uh he spent a little bit of time with the Tennessee Titans for two years and had a very small stint with Seattle. But I have not been able to pull up any stats on him. But he's a, he's a defensive back. But I don't I don't know. I don't know anything about him. I don't know anything about him. But in order to make room for these two they ended up waving defensive end Austin Larkin and also offensive lineman David Moore. So the other, so we're now down to one David Moore now, the uh, one of the wide receivers. But apparently Austin Larkin was carted off after suffering a groin injury last week. So it's kind of a bummer. Got injured and then got waved. Uh, just bad timing. Really bad timing. Never, never like to see a combination of that happen, but it is what it is. But, um, yeah, Kendall Donerson is back. And then they brought back Ladarius Wiley. Wiley. So, defensive end, slash edge rusher, and defensive back. Now, once again, still wondering about the safety position. And as I was talking in a previous, uh, commenting on uh, one of my previous videos, I guess the tryout that Ha Ha Clinton Dix had, I guess it didn't work out to the point where they, they kept him. I mean, I don't know. What do y'all think? Do y'all think they should have gave Ha Ha Clinton Dix a chance? I mean, if I remember correctly, I know he's coming off of injury, but I felt like he's been a pretty serviceable defensive back but and I felt like he would have been able to contribute strongly overall at safety because that was really what we were lacking and his primary role is safety so so yeah I I don't know maybe I was thinking and it was only back in, in June of this year that he went to the the manda mandatory camp for the tryout. So, I mean, still nobody signed him. So, I mean, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I mean, I would have, I, 
don't know, y'all. Do y'all think he should he should get a shot? Y'all think Ha Ha should should get a shot? Cause we really need to address this this safety position next to Justin Burris. And even still, you know, Justin Burris isn't elite, but I mean, I guess he's decent enough to get the job done. But really need to address that safety position between now and the start of the season. But anyway, that's pretty much all that I have. Uh, what do y'all guys think? What do you think about Carolina bringing back Kendall Don Donerson uh, and then signing this defensive back, uh, Ladarius Wiley? Um, I, like I said, I don't know anything about him. Maybe y'all do. If you do, let me know. Please share. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can catch every video that I release. Thank y'all so much for watching. This is another edition of Carolina Panthers Talk brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming. I'm Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. Hope everybody has a blessed week, and I will see y'all soon. Take care.